Richard Kaplan here and today we're going to be discussing the Altec 436C limiter compressor which has been made famous by many artists over the years but is especially known as the quote Beatles limiter and the reason that it's known as that is that it was the only limiter that they had at the beginning they had several of these 436 C's in the studio it was used for everything from drums, bass, guitars and especially vocals this is a great sounding limiter on virtually anything it's very easy to use it's uh, a looks like a one knob limiter where all you've got is volume and uh, this is what sets the level coming in going to the limiting sensor to the uh, part of the circuit that decides what peak to start to reduce basically you can think of a limiter as being a dumb robot in a box with his hand on a fader and when there's a, a high peak coming the fader suddenly the robot suddenly brings the fader down to an acceptable level and then as it uh, starts to subside the fader comes back up now this has uh, not only the input level control that sends whatever signal you have coming in to that robot in the box it also has two other controls that are a little bit more obscure and require a screwdriver to reach one of them is the threshold which is right here and the threshold is a screwdriver pot that determines whether the um, hand is, is, you know, what level is going to start being compressed. And the um, s settings on here range from 0 VU or 0 dBm on up to plus 16, all controlled by this little pot. So if you want this thing to start limit, you know, limiting earlier, you set it for zero. If you want it to allow everything up to plus 10 to get through, you set it here. If you want it to allow everything up to plus 16 before it starts limiting, you turn it all the way up. The other control is the release, and that is how quickly after a big peak comes through and it, the limiter circuit goes into action and pulls the fader down how quickly does it restore the fader to zero level that matches the input level that you set and that is this other screwdriver control over here and it's calibrated in seconds and you can have it release fairly quickly as quick as 0.3 seconds on up to 1.3 seconds so all the way down is 0.3 seconds after a peak has been detected and has gone away the fader brings it back up in 0.3 seconds to zero at mid setting it is 0.8 seconds so the fader is coming back up slower to restore it to uh, not being limited and at full setting it's at 1.6 seconds which is a rather long time now generally when you're using this for a vocal limiter or something along that line you would have it set down for a fairly quick release. The attack happens fairly quickly in this unit um, where it, uh, if it sees a big one coming it brings the fader down fairly quickly 
and for most instruments you want it to restore that level fairly quickly so it doesn't sound like <sighs> pumping and uh, gasping uh, as it's bringing the level back up. However, the limiter and compressor and or compressor was really one of the first special effects given to the engineer in the early days you had basically only two special effects as you might call them one was tone control or EQ and the other was limiting and compression so you could use this not only to uh, bring the level down so that you didn't distort into the next stage be it tape or going into some other d device in the record chain or you could use it as a special effect so that when it like on a drum if it hit and it would bring it back up and it would be, you could hear it sweep back up in the longer times and that made it into a special effect this was a great limiter it was modified by one of the engineers for the Beatles. Uh, they added a little bit of circuitry in the uh, actual limiting circuit that would detect the peaks faster than the original Altec. And many people with a 436 Altec C have gone for the beat, what they call the Beatles modifications to their units this particular one has those modifications so that it detects a peak fairly quickly you control how slow or fast it releases back to not being limiting in the circuit and you also control at what threshold it starts to act it's a transformer in and out device sounds great used on all the early Beatles albums and uh, still a viable unit to be used in the studio today. Many people like it because of its vintage sound. It has sort of a mid-range robustness to it that's hard to get in any other fashion. And uh, the Altec uh, limiter has become a classic uh, due to that unique sound that it provides. I suggest that you can also find these as a plug-in on digital devices. Uh, there will be a limiter modeled after the Altec limiter and uh, although it doesn't give you that full analog robustness it'll give you the same kind of limiting effects. So, Alther <laughs> Altec 436C, there's other versions of it, there's an Altec 436A, an Altec 436B, then there's some transistorized version of it, but this is the sought after king of the tube Altec limiters of the 436 line. Thank you, my name is Richard Kaplan and uh, I'm glad to be able to present some uh, information on the Altec limiter for you.